everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and I will be right back with some fiber information. I hope as long as I'm able to read my notes without my glasses as well as some happy mail and some information about the scape behind me. All right, I will see you guys in a sec. So welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and yes, we have a bunch of stuff going on today and I really don't know how much of the fiber information I'm going to be able to do with my mask on because I don't have my glasses on and some of my notes that I did were kind of small. So we're going to see about that. But what I'm really excited about is the scape behind me. Now, those of you that have been with me since the beginning, I started the scapes, I believe it was for October last year, and you guys loved it. And you loved doing the subscriber of the week where I changed something and you had to guess what it was and it was really fun. And you guys loved seeing what it is that I came up with. And yes, I did say that it was gonna be on my screen again. However, when I originally planned on starting these cabinets, the idea was that my videos were gonna be in front of the cabinets from that point forward. I was going to go back to the screen, as I said, because this wasn't complete. It's still not complete, but I can fit more stuff on the cabinets that can sit versus not be able to hang on the screen. So we're going to do it this way. Now, subscriber of the week, at least for the month of October, has nothing to do with my jewelry or how it changes or doesn't change, etc. So you guys can look at my jewelry. That's fine. But it has nothing to do with what my jewelry, what jewelry I'm wearing or not wearing. The subscriber of the week is all going to be based on the scape behind me and what changes on it. Now, every week, so some of the big things may change every week, but that's not what you're going to be looking at. What you're going to be looking at are the small things that could be possibly changing. Like we've got a little purple spider up there. We got a little spider up here somewhere. We got a spider here. There are little things here and there. So like today, the big things that are up here are gonna be what are up here for the rest of the week. But something may change or I may add something little or take away something little. So you need to pay attention. Have fun with it. It's, it's, it's just designed for you guys to have fun. Check out my decorations. This is a very small percentage of my decorations. But check out my decorations, have fun with it, see if you can guess what it is that changed. You guys really, 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 really enjoyed it last year when I did it. So I hope you guys enjoy it this year as well. Now, yes, I have the cat face on today because I had to be part of the theme, which is Halloween. It's October and Halloween is my favorite holiday to decorate for. Yes, I love Christmas. Thanksgiving is fun also or the fall. But Halloween is my number one favorite holiday to decorate for. And I just had to do it. I had to do it. And I'm so happy I do have it, have my cabinets up because I can fit things that I wasn't able to do on my screen last year. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys have fun. Remember, it's the little things that could possibly change. Typically, probably a spider could be a crow. Crow could it be added, crow could be taken away, spider could be added, spider could be taken away. I'm not going to make it crazy. If anything, it may be one or two little things, but just have fun with it. And I would love to hear what you guys think about this. Now, the thing is, sorry, there's something behind my mask on my eye and I had to get it off because it's driving me nuts. Um, the thing that I love about this um, wreath back here is the fact that it is bling out city. Now, with just my overhead lights, it kind of sort of bl was blingy, but not really. And there were too many shadows, so I had to turn on my um, ring light. But I have a flashlight here. I don't know if you guys can see quite how blingy it is, but all of the silver that's on these crows is bling. All of it is bling, 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 bling. And you all know I love bling. Well, there is a store that my mom and I, my mom has shopped there for I don't know, as long as she's had her shop, 25 years, maybe something like that. And that's where I've done several of my craft shows was when she would have them twice a year. Well, we went in there. Um, she has now kind of mixed with a coffee shop also. But we went in there and she was having a sale. Well, no, I'm sorry, she didn't have a sale. But she would just bring out her Halloween stuff. And yeah, that was there. And oh my gosh, I was like instantly got to have it. 
for my scape, it's just got to happen. I, it's not something I would put outside. The crows have real feathers on them and everything, but yeah. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say or what you guys think about my Halloween decorations. I'm hoping I'm sitting up high enough because I needed to be able to incorporate everything here. So I'm actually sitting like on a phone book and like two cushions and stuff. Miley, no, Miley, Miley. I hope she's not gonna continue. Okay, there must be a cat or something there. I will have to come back. I'm just going to leave for just a second. I'll be right back. Anyway, <laughs> I actually had to close the blinds finally in the bedroom so that she would stop barking. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm sitting on a bunch of stuff hoping that I'm high enough for you guys. I really do hope I am. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think. Can't wait to hear it. Miley, no. Out. No. You're not getting. No. Back up. Anyway, uh, we did go to Joanne's over the weekend. I didn't record because it was a very quick trip and I didn't want, it, it just wouldn't have been something that would have been enjoyable for you guys. Um, I did have to get a couple of things, Miley, no. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that really quick. Um, sorry if my hair's all over the place. It may still be wet because I took a shower a little while ago. I'm really having a hard time seeing anything through these things, uh, through this mask. But I got two of these because I, I realized that I really needed to get something for my row counters because even for my, my personal one that I made, I ended up using a carabiner that I had on my key ring, but I needed that back, so I had to take that away. So I got two of these. Uh, one for myself and one that I'm going to make and then list on my Etsy shop, hopefully. Uh, and then, let's see what else I got here. There, Honestly, I got also a thing of stickers because they had some that I have not been able to find at Michael's. But it's in the other room and it's something I'm going to be using like on cards and stuff. So, yeah. And, and I may get go back and get some more for, um, you know, subscriber of the week. So, yeah. Anyway, they had a great sale on their beads. All of the beads, regardless of the price. Now, their beads are all, they all have the same color tag. But whether they're, I think it's like $5.99, $7.99, or $9.99, they were all $2.99. What? Craziness, right? So, I got these. Seriously, you can't see anything. Um, for Christmas to make stitch markers with. They're, they're glass. I think I don't I think they're glass but I got Santa Claus for Christmas and then this pack would have been $9.99 look at all of these beads I mean is that not craziness and it was $2.99 so I was like all right I could break this up and make all kinds of stuff with it right so anyway that's what I got at Joanne's so when I said it was a quick trip actually all I was going in for were the um clasp thing or the the like I don't know what you what what they're called, but that's the reason why I ran in there. My mom wanted to look. Oh, the swivel hook. Um, the sew couture. Okay, whatever. Anyway, this is what I went in for. Uh, but of course, I got sucked into more because my mom went to go look at some uh, picture frames, which is what she was needing to look at. So it was a really quick trip. I will take you guys through there at some point when I have more time to just hang out in there. Uh, so that was Joanne's. Now, as far as... Hi, monkey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. You're a good girl. I told her no, she couldn't bark, and now she wants to try to get through here. However, between the bins that I have right here holding my stuff, the tripod, and the ring light, she can't get through. <laughs> so she's not too happy about that, and she wants to be able to go outside and go chase after whatever it is. I'm guessing a cat that she saw on the fence, but no. Miley, oh, my flashlight's on. Woo. Okay, so anyway, as far as fiber, honestly, will you guys forgive me if we don't do the fiber? Because I really don't want to take the mask off because my hair is going to be even worse. And I'll have to, like, stop to go and fix that up. Um, and I seriously am having a hard time reading all of this. Plus, I don't want it to take. I don't want this video to be too ridiculously long. And honestly, I can't remember how much was ready on the first part. 
that's where I that's where I kind of get messed up too sometimes when I have to cut the video and then I start back up I forget how much time was actually on the first part and then I go ahead and I put them together and I'm like oh my gosh it's not only 20 minutes it's actually an hour what the heck was I thinking yeah craziness and look at me I'm all shiny I'm not even hot uh, surprisingly I'm not even hot behind this um mask but I'm like all shiny and stuff look at me I'm like primping in front of you guys I mean seriously anyway but we will do the happy mail I keep feeling like there's like hair like on my mask I love this mask but it's very stiff but oh my gosh I really would love to wear the headband that I have with this like spider okay the the the, the legs only come out to maybe like here but they're kind of like wobbly and it would really take away from the escape behind me so that's the reason why i ended up taking it off but i was really wanting to wear it um so maybe maybe if i fix this up just right where the legs of the headband don't get in the way of anything that's in the escape i'll wear it one time but anyway, so we'll do happy mail and please forgive me on the fiber content. Um, if anything, maybe I'll go ahead and include it on Wednesday's video again. Although I'm hoping to have some, a new whip, at least one new whip, possibly two, but one that I've already started on Saturday, I believe. I haven't gotten very far, but I did start it on Saturday. I'm hoping to work on it a little bit today while I'm editing this video. But um, I'll go ahead and add on Wednesday and just please forgive me. I mean, I was really having so much fun on doing the scape that I was like, you know, I kind of got, I didn't think things through. <laughs> and I really wanted to wear the mask to kind of bring this all in. So you all know I'm a little, little, yeah, you all know, right? So the first, there are two things that came in. One is the Lolo did it for September. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's for September. And then this is something that I got from um, Blue Barn Fibers that I am so excited to open. And this will be something I will hold off on doing anything with until I get some more of the things that I told you I was expecting where I will do, because right now I'm doing, yes, I'm doing an, an unboxing for you guys and I'm letting you know briefly about the company and or putting the links and coupons and stuff in the description box, but I'm not really doing a full intro to the businesses because I'm wanting to do that once I get several of the things in, I'm actually going to do a video or two where I go through the fiber content of each yarn and or whatever it is I may have gotten um, with you guys and explain to you what each type of fiber does for for that yarn like what gives it strength or what gives it sheen or what gives it you know that type of thing and give you a little bit more information about the businesses because several of these businesses I have started a relationship with and I either have coupon codes for for you guys or like with um, Unique Yarns, I, ha I have an affiliate program that I'm joining. Uh, I mean, I have already submitted. I'm just waiting to hear back. But um, so I'll be doing that a little bit more in depth with you guys so you guys can get a little bit a better feel of what the business is about and get more information about the fibers themselves. Uh, not that they're all different or anything, but they may have some of the fibers we've already discussed and it's something I can go into more detail about. So anyway, now that I've just bored you guys with that, let's open, um, this is from uh, um, Lolo Did It, and I seriously can't read anything. Uh, lo my eyes aren't that bad, it's just that with where the eyes are on this mask and where my eyes, eyes are when I'm looking down, I'm looking down into this section, <laughs> so I have to find what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, it's quite funny, but anyway, seriously, I can't see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I crack myself up sometimes. Oh, I love it, I love it. Oh my, I love this. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Yay! But I'm going to have to reorganize these shelves as I get these thin, because I think this is where the Lolo did it, um, Downton Abbey stuff is. And there's no room for more. So, oh my gosh, this is beautiful, beautiful. So this is September 2020, the Downton Abbey Club upstairs and downstairs. 
It says, the height of drama in season three is the visit of Martha Levinson, Cora's mother. When I'm with her, this is a quote, when I'm with her, I'm reminded of the virtues of the English, end quote. The Dowager says while anticipating her arrival. So as they welcome the Queen of Sheba, even downstairs is affected by American influences. All right, so let's open this part so I can get the yarn. You know what? I'm just going to pull it out. I'll, I'll figure it out later. All right, so... Oh, my gosh, I love it! Look. Oh, my gosh, this is so beautiful. And you see... Okay, so... And you see the purple in here that goes well with this. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me show you each one. So we'll go with the mini skein. I apologize. I have to read it up like this. It's 28 grams, 124 yards. It's Levinson is the colorway. 85% extra fine superwash merino, 15% nylon. So it's like a cream with the purple. You got some blues, looks like black, maybe brown. Speckles, there's, there's some speckling, there's grays in it. Beautiful, I'm hoping it is focusing is it focusing i think so all right now the big one the big mama jamma this yarn okay yeah 85 percent extra fine superwash merino 15 percent nylon 100 grams uh 440 yards per 100 grams fingering fingering weight three ply and it's the queen of sheba look at that Wapa! Is that not stunningly gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love the colors in here. Beautiful. I will say that this particular Hank, out of all the Lolo Did It ones that we I got, is my favorite. By far. My favorite, but you all know blue's my favorite color, right? Well, this is purple, but well. Yeah, it's got like the blues in it, but it's purple. Purple, pink, blue, absolute favorite colors. This is stunning, stunning, stunning. Awesome job on this one. Okay, now I'm getting hot. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to use a lot of the minis, or I may use the minis together. I'm going to see how they work together and possibly do the minis together and go from there. But the large ones, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that one. 440 yards, I can make something nice. I hope I'm not like sweating and you guys are like seeing like, yeah. Anyway, I'm probably bringing your attention to it more that way. But all right, so this is for, like I said, from Blue Barn Fiber. And I do have a link in the description box below for them as well as a coupon to their website. Uh, they do have an Etsy shop, but the coupon is for their website because they typically always run some kind of a special on their Etsy shop. And the coupon code that you get on their website brings it to about the same price as their Etsy shop, but they're trying to get more traffic to their website. So, yeah, check them out. They have all kinds of different, like, more unique yarns or fibers that you may not see all the time plus of course they have the merinos and stuff like that and their colorways are gorgeous i absolutely love their stuff love 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 it and i'm so sorry that i'm so hot but this is um oopsie this is their oh there's a note on here i hope i can read it um this is it it you this is fiber that can be spun but you can also use it the way it is as a yarn and that's something I'm going to show you when I do the individual video, like the separate videos showing you multiples of these yarns from these different companies and telling you about what they have and what they offer and what it is that I have and how it's used. But um, these are silk hankies. They're hand dyed and it's, it looks, it is the size, like it looks like a hanky, but it's silk that you can use and pull at and actually use as a yarn, which would be softer that way than if you actually spun it into a yarn that takes some of the softness away but that's more information i'll go into in the in the, in the individual videos but um what oh okay all right so i had asked them a question 
uh, I had asked them a question about like giveaways and stuff and they just, it was just a side note that they put on there and, and that's fine. But, oh my goodness, look at that so far. I know it's in plastic, but my, my throat is like really dry so I can't quite squeal like I normally would. But, oh my gosh, look at these colors. Unbelievable. Well, there's two hankies in here. Again, this is their business card. I showed this to you guys last time. Is it focusing? Because seriously... I couldn't tell you. My gla my eyes are really bad right now. So if you guys want to take screenshots, I really hope it, it focused. Um, oh my gosh. Seriously, people, this is, oh, my hands are so dry. It's like really not doing this justice. But it, it seriously feels like, oh my gosh. 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 Okay, so I had asked them how many hankies I would need to make a project, and I haven't gotten an answer yet. I just recently asked them, but look at this. This is one of them. Do you see the awesomeness of it? This is silk. This is silk, and it's, it's, fr okay, I will do the video. I think I have enough of the of yarns from several uh, from a couple different companies to do at least one video. I really want to be able to tell you guys about this because this is amazing. There's actually a separate YouTube video that they show how it is to go ahead and use this as a yarn. I mean, you're probably saying, "What are you drunk? How can you use that as yarn?" Yeah. Well, my my hands are so dry right now. I forgot to put lotion in them that it's really like pulling at this, but you actually start like from the center of it and you kind of pull, just create, like open a hole until you get it to the thinness of the yarn that you want it. And then you, yeah. Anyway, I will go into that and I will actually do it. On, I'll probably try it on one of these hankies and then I will show you on the other hanky how to do it. Maybe I'll even do a separate video with that. But look at this, it's still folded over I would be able to open it this way and then bigger one more time. But this is unbelievable. Oh my God. I mean, gosh, I'm so sorry. But anyway, this is amazingly soft. And then this is the other color. I mean, my hands are seriously like tearing at it because they're so dry right now. But this is the other color. Oh, there's two hinkies in here. Interesting. Or this is like a half of a no, this this is like two separate pieces or something. But this is this one. Look at these colors. Is this are the colors not amazing? I mean, and this is coming out from what I can see, it's coming out true to color from what I can see. <laughs> um Look at that. Is that not amazingly gorgeous? Oh my gosh. And it's the same as the other one where you could pull it apart four times. I think it's four times. But I will do a separate video on that, maybe for next Monday. Since I'm going to do some fiber stuff on Wednesday, maybe next Monday I'll go ahead and do a video showing you how to work this fiber and what it is and where it comes from and about the company. But yeah. So I'm so sorry that I didn't plan ahead and realize that I can't read the fiber notes because that sucks, right? But I hope you enjoyed this video regardless and that you enjoyed the happy mail that came in and the couple of things I got from Joann's. But I really hope you enjoy this Halloween scape. I know you guys, really, those of you that have been with me since the beginning, I know you guys really enjoyed it last year when I did it for last October. So let me know, you know, comment in the comment section below if you know try be nice if, if at all possible no i know you guys are always you guys are amazing i seriously you guys are amazing but i would love to hear what you have to say about the scape and how we're doing subscriber of the week at least for the month of october likely into november and december but for sure october and um if you have any questions please let me know because then i could go ahead and answer them on getting to know you on friday i would love more questions whether it's on things you want to learn 
or if you have any questions about me, about yarn, about Miley, about whatever the case is, uh, please let me know and I will definitely address it on Friday. And if you have any ideas, tips, tricks about anything, again, I'd love to hear about it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope your Monday went well. Love hugs and prayers to you guys. Extra hugs. Well, extra hugs to everybody, but extra prayers for anybody who needs it. And again, if you need extra prayers, please let me know in the description box. Sorry, in the comment section below. And I will definitely say extra prayers for you, but you guys are always in my prayers anyway. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Miley did say hi to her peeps, and she will see you guys tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern at our regular schedule, regularly scheduled live. And... Yeah, there was something else I wanted to say, but now I cannot remember what it is. So I love you guys dearly. Again, love, hugs, and prayers. And um, yeah, thank you so very much for all of your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. I mean, your comments just really touch me in so many ways because you guys are just so kind and so loving and really, really, really care and i really do appreciate that so again have a great night and i will see you guys well we will see you guys tomorrow night 9 30 p.m eastern on our regularly scheduled live which will be in the room so that she can be part of it because you all know she's got to see her peeps and she's got to get all those comments in and you know her extra stuff because <laughs> she looks forward to tuesday nights anyway have a great day i love you guys and um yeah stay safe and healthy Bye.